This is a time to review the progress and achievement made over the past years. It is also an occasion for to envision, to have new dream, and to think about the future. For 38 years, NALCO has been committed to achieving global excellence in alumna and aluminium production. Now it is a symbol of excellence, well recognized nationally and internationally. The company and its units have received various national, state and institutional awards for the excellence in safety and environment management. We take pride of its achievements not only as one of the finest public sector institutions, but also for its establishment in Odisha. It is rightly being recognized as a Navaratna company. However, to sustain the success, it is imperative to always gear up to meet the changing challenges and needs of our society. My warmest congratulations to the awardees of today for their creative commitment, dedication, and hard work that brought them success. Their ingenuity will, no doubt, inspire more ideas, insight, and solutions to many challenges facing the industry and our strategic positioning in the future global economy. The nature of global economy and India's place in it is evolving quickly. Over the past quarter of a century, India has been undergoing an economic transformation like never before, and yet the country is home to millions of earnest and employed hungry youngsters who are unable to get jobs. For India to stay one step ahead of the competition, it is paramount that we create opportunities for our next generation, while at the same time nurture and inspire them so that they have necessary knowledge and skills to grasp such opportunities and realize their potentials. Often referred to the democratic, demographic dividend the skills versus job requirements mismatch often leads to economically inactive working age group people. Therefore, industry must recognize the role of skilling to ensure better work quality. Against such background, I have chosen a team for this occasion, advancing opportunity for your youth, but ways to economic growth and inclusion. And I think it is indeed very relevant to our future. Our future naturally lies in our economic development. Apart from picking up knowledge and skills in schools and colleges, there is need to encourage our present and also next generation to expand their horizon so that they will be better equipped in an increasingly globalized economy. To this end, it is observed to step up internship st strategies. The Skill India mission is an opportunity for companies to give some serious thought to how they can play an impactful role in bridging the skills gap in the country. Wide scale impact cannot occur without the active involvement of both the public and the private sector. By leveraging the Skill India mission and engaging with the government and implementation agencies, companies can work to provide much needed training programs to the vast number of unskilled people who should ultimately benefit industry and contribute to the growth and development of the country in the long term. The continuously changing business environment and the growth of entrepreneurship among youths, a lot of which has been possible due to the technological advances. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not have shortage of projects or programs to support our young people. The government's biggest challenge lies in connecting with the young people. I appreciate that young people have great hopes and aspirations for the future of their state and their country. Proper recognition should be given to their passion and commitment. I firmly believe that Odisha's economic productivity 
and competitiveness relies on its workforce having their skills now and in future, and with industry in the driver's seat, Odisha is ideally placed to take advantage of the opportunities. I know firsthand how important it is for employers that the workforce has the right knowledge and skills. This is fundamental to business competitiveness and ability to grow. And on a macro level, having a flexible and well-skilled workforce is essential for adapting to the changing nature of work, meeting skills gaps, creating employment, and powering the economy to ensure it is truly representative of industry. NALCO must take the lead. They have an in-depth knowledge of their industry and play a key role in making sure training package meet the needs of the sector they represent. They work across their industry to ensure their training reflects the needs of employers and the modern economy. They are in the best position to identify skills gaps and emerging skills needs. It is clear that we need to be thinking abroad, ahead beyond immediate skill needs to the future opportunities. How often has it has been said that we don't even know what the jobs of the future will be yet. It is clear that we need to equip people with transferable skills that business value so they can be well prepared for the jobs of the future. Industry has been telling us that what is increasingly valued are employees with skills in areas such as complex problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, people management and emotional intelligence. These skills will make it easier for the workers to move between jobs and to upskill and reskill as required. NALCO, with its unique industry intelligence, is well placed to ensure that your training is future focused and includes the transferable sought after skill that industry needs now and in future. The voice of industry must ensure Odisha has a quality skill development system that meets the needs of both industry and employees, both now and into the future. This industry-led lead initiative for getting skilled right and approach to training must recognize the importance of having a highly skilled workforce to our businesses, communities, and the national economy by driving greater engagement by businesses in skills development, Odisha will be better able to take advantage of future opportunities. It is recognized that different industry sectors have different skills needs, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach. Due to the speed and impact of emerging trends, responsive industry-driven training will be crucial for developing a dynamic, appropriately skilled workforce. Here I see a larger role for NALCO, which has a good record of corporate social responsibility activities. CCR, CSR is a way of conducting business by which corporate entities would visibly contribute to the social good, given the diversity and level of development in different parts of our country. CSR cannot be one-size-fits-all approach. While developing programs, industry leaders and CSR experts must look at issues for, that are relevant to different regions. At the same time, they must ensure that the companies look across India and not concentrate on a few pockets. As socially responsible in company, NALCO must use CSR to integrate economic, environmental, and social objectives with the company's operation and growth. Social innovation, the creation of new products and services that create social value and meet changing social needs, therefore, becomes important. 
We need to create new business models that can help to keep this city growing as a successful community that gives hope and prospect to all its members. To encourage social innovation, NALCO to stimulate cross-sector collaboration, sharing learning and experience, guiding resources to groom and coach entrepreneurs, incubating and implementing new ideas with the expectation that some of these will lead to new sustainable business that help tackle poverty and social exclusion in the community. I look forward to hearing your views on how you could advance opportunity for our youth, sharpen their skills, and thus pave the way for sustained higher growth and for the betterment of Odisha. I wish you all the success in this great endeavor. On this note, let me convey my warmest congratulations once again to Nalco on his Foundation Day. Now it is the time to take the step forward to become Maharatna. I'm sure with the support and innovations from all of you, you take forward your company to new heights. Thank you. Jai Hind.